Welcome back everyone and we are talking aloe vera gel today. How to make it at home for your face. If you are a masking addict, just put it in the comments down below. Let's identify you too. Now aloe vera is a very popular medicinal plant that people have used for thousands of years. It stores water in its leaves and it's best known for treating skin injuries which makes it a popular ingredient in many cosmetic, food and pharmaceutical products globally. Now what a lot of us love about aloe vera is that the water filled tissue that is in each leaf is called the gel and that is what we all associate with aloe vera products. The gel contains most of the beneficial bioactive compounds in the plant including vitamins, minerals, amino acids and antioxidants and this makes it ideal for use on your face. With regular use, which means you have to be consistent, it may improve skin texture and prevent wrinkles thus slowing down the signs of aging. Research also suggests that aloe vera could help the skin retain moisture and improve skin integrity, which could benefit dry skin conditions. So whether you have one or several aloe vera patches in your kitchen garden, or you prefer to grow them indoors, because of the amount of benefits that it has for your skin, it's always a good idea to include it in your skincare regimen. So once you've harvested your aloe vera leaf, just simply wash it off nicely from any dirt that would have accumulated around the end of the aloes. Peel it using a knife. I just simply peel it back until that back skin comes off of the gel. Now it will take a lot of practice to do this in one full swoop, but guess what? Practice makes improvement. So once you've removed the flatter end of the aloes with your knife, just simply use a spoon to scoop out the gel from the rounded part of the aloes. I find that this is so much easier to manage. And then once you've gathered all the gel, just simply add it to your favorite puree. I usually add papo or papaya, mango, whatever is in season to my aloe vera gel. However, if you prefer to use the aloe vera gel by itself, that's also an option. I just love a fruity smell to my mask. Now the secret to getting the perfect gel is in the amount of blending that you do. Just ensure you blend it long enough to ensure fluidity. And just simply pour your mask into a bowl and mix it with your favorite dry mask. Now you can get creative with your mixes. The simple puree with the aloe gel, some olive oil, a little bit of apple cider vinegar is also a very good combination. Or you can also add uh, cucumbers which helps with adding moisture and hydration into the skin. So the possibilities are limitless when you use aloe vera gel as the base. Now your skin, the rest of your body is an extension of your face and you can also try making a shower gels and body wash with aloe vera gel in the mix as well. Would you love to see a video on how to make your own shower gels at home using aloe vera gel? Let me know in the comments down below. So now it's all time to apply our aloe vera gel mixture to our face. You first ensure that your face is well cleansed with your favorite face wash and just simply dry it off and apply the mask in a circular direction avoiding your eyes of course avoid it going into your mouth but definitely avoid it going into your eyes and just ensure that the mixture goes on smoothly and evenly for even coverage. So in addition to the papaya or papaw, 
aloe vera gel that is in this mixture there is also oatmeal and essential oils which gives a cleansing effect and after 30 minutes to an hour just simply rinse tone and moisturize and your face is all ready to go with or without makeup thank you guys so much for watching remember to like and subscribe see you on friday